Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Alliance ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. This is version 8, the XWLS S version for Samsung Galaxy S2. So I'm going to provide you guys an installation guide on getting the Alliance ROM on your Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. Hi again, so first things first, we've got to make sure we've got our Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100 rooted and ready. And of course, don't worry, if you haven't got your Samsung Galaxy S2 rooted, um, I've got a guide for that, both for jelly bean and for uh, ice cream sandwich. Secondly, make sure you've got Samsung keys installed and the Samsung driver so you won't have any issue um, transferring the ROM, for example the Alliance ROM, onto your Samsung Galaxy S2. So okay, since we got that all covered, since we all got the requirements covered, we're going to check out the Alliance ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GB version, that's the Jelly Bean version of course, that's XWLSS, and there are two uh, there are two sites where you can download it from. You can download it from XDA Developers, which I recommend. Uh, you can simply do a search on XDA, XDA Developers, or you can simply click on the download uh, link in the video, video description below, or you can check out the full guide on wiredmash.com. And the second is the official website of the Alliance Rome, which is alliance-rome.com. So you've got two places where you can download it. And once you're done downloading it, the file is roughly about uh, 671 uh, megabytes in size, which is quite big actually. They're, they're probably the, the reason why it's so big, of course it's based on XWSS, which is another huge, one of the latest firmwares for Samsung Galaxy S2, but it's very, very big. But um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't include um, the bloatware from Samsung include perhaps it includes additional apps and maybe tools you know for tweaking your Samsung Galaxy S2. But anyway, stay tuned for that. We're gonna check it out shortly, and let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is to connect your Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's zoom out for a, a bit. There we go. We've got an overview. So first thing you have to do is to connect the Samsung Galaxy S2 to your, of course. Uh, computer so connect that with a micro USB and make sure you always use a good micro USB cable as sometimes it's usually the case when you know files don't get transferred well or intonation goes wrong because of a just a micro USB cable so once you got it connected open it up of course head over to SD card and we're gonna simply copy and paste the zip file so the name of the file is Alliance Rome underscore i9100 underscore xwlss underscore v8 which is version 8 so I'll be back once it's uh, transferred to the SD card so it's finally done transferring you can remove the micro s micro USB cable and then of course we've got to turn off our Samsung Galaxy S2 we're gonna we're going to actually go into recovery mode and we're going to install it via the CWM manager or the recovery mode of the Samsung Galaxy S2. In this case, I'm currently using the SIA kernel, if you guys wanted to know. So once we're, we're done with that, we have to press volume up, power, I mean volume up, volume up, home button and power button all at once for up to 10 seconds and your screen should flash twice so there we go Samsung Galaxy S2 that's the first flash and the second flash should be there you go so this is a safe time to remove it and that means that your phone is actually rooted so once we're in recovery mode this is a CWM based recovery mode on the CIA kernel we've got to make sure we do a wipe data factory reset and a wipe cache prior to installing as we're you know coming from a different ROM a different platform and we've got to make sure that everything runs smoothly so we're going to do a wipe cache partition tool. As you can see guys, now I'm using, I bought myself uh, a desk lamp. So hopefully we'll be getting better video quality out of this. So once we've done the wipe data factory reset partition and wipe cache partition, 
head over to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card of course Alliance Roam, there we go, select that and we're gonna hit yes give it, this is probably gonna take a minute or two or if not longer perhaps three minutes, four minutes hey guys, so probably after what, five or ten minutes um, it finally is done installing, so don't worry if, it, if the progress bar gets stuck during the installation. It's just installing, give it time, give it even 15 minutes or even 20 minutes at most. So once that's all done, head over, we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a Y Beta Factory reset again just to be sure, just to be ultra sure that there won't be any conflicts or any problems or issues that will arise in the next few minutes. So wipe cache partition partition also. Okay. Then reboot system now. Again, this is this is since this is the first boot, this will probably take some time again, so give it five to ten minutes again. And this time this should be booting up with of course the check that out. This is the Alliance Roam um boot up sequence that was a pretty unexpected boot up sequence I was expecting Samsung's boot up sequence because it's based on the XWSSS firmware anyway as you can see uh, it seems to be um, bouncing the letter O it's bouncing it's bouncing bouncing so I'll be back once it's fully loaded up again hey guys so after five to eight minutes of the initial boot up sequence of the alliance room we're here at the setup screen and as you can see there's something different it's got the stock jelly bean uh, notification bar status bar on top and at the same time we got the samsung galaxy s2 setup uh, procedure so let's check it out let's hit united states start i don't have a sim card next you can skip the Wi-Fi setup. Next. Skip this also. No, of course I've got a Google account, but I'm not gonna set it up right now. Now, next, next. Oh, next. Don't you just love that next, next. Mm-hmm. Click finish. And let's see what we're gonna, so we can choose between the TouchWiz uh, launcher or the Nova launcher. Let's go for the Nova launcher always. You can always change that later on. Boom, we've got the Nova launcher. Check that out. If you decided to choose the Nova launcher, um, don't worry. You can always go back to the original TouchWiz launcher or user experience simply by going into settings and we're going to clear out the false application manager we're going to find where is that nova launcher head down clear the faults everything's done press the home button you'll be presented again which launcher would you like to use i'm going to go for touch with home always okay so again if you want to go back to nova launcher no problem just go back to application manager in the settings clear the faults of um, the touch with home and then press the home button and you'll be presented again with that option of whether you like to go Nova, whether you'd like to choose a Nova launcher or the touch with um, launcher. And as you can see, it's basically the same as uh, the touch with user interface from the official Samsung Galaxy S2, except for their new new icons. There's a different icons here in the no notification bar and the shortcuts also. And um, we can e check out the settings really quickly. So as you see, 4.1.2, XWLSS version 8, Alliance Roam. So that's basically about it. And I'm going to have a full review, a complete review of the Alliance Roam for the Samsung Galaxy S2 XWLSS version, which is, of course, version 8 of the Alliance Roam next week. So anyway, don't forget to like this video. It would definitely help us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash. And most of all, thanks for watching.